Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel that is Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. Today's topic for Biochemistry Rapid Revision series is Enzyme Inhibition. So there are two main types of enzyme inhibition. First one is the reversible and second one is the irreversible enzyme inhibition. And in the reversible enzyme inhibition, there are three examples. First one is the competitive, second one is the non-competitive and the third one is the uncompetitive. So let's quickly revise all the types of enzyme inhibition. First we will see competitive inhibition. So competitive inhibition it is a reversible type of enzyme inhibition because over here inhibitor binds to the enzyme non-covalently and when this inhibitor is removed from the enzyme physically we can restore the functions of enzyme fully. So that's why it is a reversible type of enzyme inhibition and as the name suggests competitive inhibition. So there is a competition between inhibitor and substrate for the binding to the active site of the enzyme and the inhibitor is structurally similar to that of substrate. Fine. And the, one of the important characteristic feature of competitive enzyme inhibition is it can be overcome by increasing the substrate concentration. So there will be increase in the Km value but there will be no change in the Vmax. So these are the features of competitive type of enzyme inhibition. Now what are the various examples of competitive type of enzyme inhibition? So one classic example is succinate dehydrogenase enzyme which can convert succinate to the fumarate in the TCA cycle which is inhibited by malonate. So that is the one example. Another examples are of drugs. So one such drug is the sulfonamide. Sulfonamide competitively inhibit the dihydrofolate reductase enzyme so there will be block in the synthesis of folic acid from para amino benzoic acid in the bacteria. So it can be used as an antibacterial drug. Another second example of drug is the methotrexate. Again it will inhibit the dihydrofolate reductase and it is used as an anti-cancer drug. Another example of competitive inhibitor is dicomorol which will inhibit the vitamin K epoxide reductase. So it will be used as an anticoagulant. Then another example is isoneosite and another example is allopurinol. Allopurinol will inhibit the enzyme xanthine oxidase and it will block the formation of uric acid. So that's why it can be used in the treatment of gum. These are the various examples of competitive type of enzyme inhibition. Second example of reversible type of enzyme inhibition is the non-competitive enzyme inhibition. Non-competitive enzyme inhibition, over here there is no any structural similarity between the inhibitor and substrate and over here inhibitor will not bind to the active site of the enzyme. It will bind separately and reversibly at a site different from the substrate binding site. And as it, as it will not bind to the substrate binding site, so there will be no change in the Km value but there will be the decrease in the Vmax. That is the non-competitive inhibitors and the example of non-competitive inhibitors are various heavy metals at lower concentration. Another reversible type of enzyme inhibition is the uncompetitive inhibitor. The uncompetitive inhibitor again they have no any structural similarity to the substrate and it will bind to the enzyme substrate complex. Remember it will bind to the enzyme substrate complex and there will be decrease in Vmax and Km value both. And so that are the features of uncompetitive type of enzyme inhibition. Now what is the example of uncompetitive enzyme inhibition? So one such example is the alpha ketoglutarate which will inhibit the isocytrate dehydrogenase. So that is the example of uncompetitive inhibitors. Fine, so that is all about reversible type of enzyme inhibition. Now irreversible type of enzyme inhibition. So over here in the irreversible type of enzyme inhibition, inhibitor will bind covalently to the substrate binding site or to the active site of the enzyme. And over here there will be no change in the Km value but there will be decrease in the Vmax value and inhibition cannot be overcome by increasing the concentration of substrate or by dialysis. So that is the features of irreversible type of enzyme inhibition and the example of irreversible type of, type of enzyme inhibition is one example is the Cyanide. Cyanide can inhibit the cytochrom oxidase so there will be no functioning of electron transport chain. Another example of irreversible type of enzyme inhibition is the idoacetate. Idoacetate is the irreversible inhibitor of glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase. Fine. So that is, that is the example of irreversible type of enzyme inhibition. Another 
is the suicidal enzyme inhibition or suicidal inhibition in the suicidal inhibition inhibitor after binding to the enzyme it will be converted into the more potent inhibitor which will inhibit the enzyme irreversibly itself fine so that is the suicidal enzyme inhibition and the example of suicidal enzyme inhibition is allopurinol fine allopurinol will inhibit the xanthine oxidase enzyme and this allopurinol will be converted into the alloxanthine which will irreversibly inhibit the xanthine oxidase enzyme so there will be no synthesis of uric acid and it will be used in the treatment of gout another example of suicidal inhibition is the fluoro fluorouracil fluorouracil will inhibit the thymidylate synthase enzyme which will be used in a cancer fine another type of enzyme inhibition is the feedback inhibition in the feedback inhibition the end product of particular metabolic pathway will cause the inhibition of earlier enzyme in the pathway fine and the inhibitor will bind to the allosteric site of the enzyme remember this thing inhibitor will bind to the allosteric site of the enzyme examples of this feedback inhibitors are glucose 6 phosphate inhibiting the hexokinase then heme itself uh, inhibiting the ala synthase enzyme in the heme synthesis pathway then Metal CoA inhibiting the acetyl CoA carboxylase enzyme. So that is all about enzyme inhibition. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit, and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it. Thank you.